Hi, I'm Rick at Rick Turns, and today's video is... Hi, I'm Rick Morris. For today's project, I've got this log right here. I've been told it's walnut. It's, it's so weathered I can't really tell. It might actually be, I don't know. Uh, but it's quite a bit weathered. I don't know if it's fully dry, but it's definitely got a great big crack going right down here. And, uh, okay, we got thunder. Uh, <laughs> looks like we're going to get some rain. Um, so, I am going to be turning this uh, rather than cutting it in half, which would probably be the smartest thing to do. I'm going to be turning this with the uh, faceplate initially here, making this the bottom of the bowl, and uh, more thunder. Uh, I think I better take a look out the window here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's rain coming. Uh, okay, that, it actually wouldn't be too much of a problem, except I've got a little bit of a leak up in the roof, you know, and so I'm going to get this on the bench, so I'll cut out a circle, and uh, I might take a slice off down this away, like that, and, uh, oh great, here, here comes the rain, terrific. Okay, I know this is silly, but hey, <laughs> you know, what can you do? It rains, it rains. You, you got to protect it against something. Anyway, I'm going to get this ready to go, put it on the lathe, and uh, boy, that, that rain is really coming down. Um, you know, it's actually not that much of a problem, except uh, occasionally we'll get some lightning, and uh, then it becomes a little bit of a... Uh, I think this job just got a little bit harder. I've got several ways I can put this on the lathe. I think I'm going to put this on the lathe without, without cutting it around first. It'll just take longer on the lathe work. Um, but it's pretty thick, hard to cut on the uh, bandsaw. So I could attach a faceplate on here. Got about a four inch faceplate that will sit fairly well right there. So that's one way I could do it. Or I could use. Uh, I could use a woodworm screw inside this chuck here, and that would work too. Overall, considering how heavy it is, I'm going to use the face blade instead. All right, I've got this mounted on the lathe. Got the tool rest adjusted, maybe a tad too high there. There. <clears throat> now you can see I've got some splits in here. This is the largest split. The rest of them, this one ends right about here. And uh, this large split here, well, over on this side, it only goes an inch and a half deep or so. That's about 550. I'm going to leave it right there. So that's a tenon I'm going to need. Uh, I've got a pretty big crack right here. You can see right here, it doesn't go tremendously deep. And on this side, about the same there. 
So, got a really big bowl blank. I'm going to go ahead and turn this bowl shorter by at least an inch and minimize or even get rid of this crack entirely. I've taken the face plate off, mounted it back inside uh, my large one-way stronghold 100 millimeter jaws chuck. I'm ready to start turning here. First of all, I'm going to clean up the outside because it's never quite perfect when you rechuck it like that from front to back. Now this little homemade depth check is great. Uh, not my own idea. I got it from Sam Angelo's channel, the Wyoming Wood Turner, and he got it from somewhere else. Uh, and I made one of these. The uh, threaded rod here, the bottom of the threaded rod is perfectly even with this edge right here. This edge right here is adjusted to be even with the outer edge uh, of the chuck. So, this tells me I've got about, looks like half an inch, maybe five-eighths of an inch at the bottom. I'm going to check the wall thickness here. Okay, got about a half an inch. Yeah. About a half an inch, a little less than a half an inch. Get down here. Kind of hard to check the thickness for real down here because we're at an angle. Down on the bottom, looks like about a half and a, about five eighths. Okay, not going to do anything else on the interior, well, other than sand it. It's out of realm. And that is because even though the wood is very dry, um, with it all hollowed out, it warped a little bit. So now I'm gonna bring it back down to realm, shear scraping, so that I can get rid of some of this torn grain right here, and a tiny bit right there. So it doesn't look too bad for torn grain. But I do want to bring it back down to round before I start sanding.
Well, that's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to make uh, a few passes over at shear scraping with uh, my bowl gouge. Sent it down to 400 grit and I paused because I want to make a little couple of burn lines on here. And I'm going to do that with my point tool. The point tool, it makes that groove in there for the burning wire to ride in. And what you have when you're done is a very smoky workshop. As you can see, I've taken it out of the chuck now and reversed it here uh, against my super huge face plate there, holding it in with the tail stock. And I'm going to turn this away and then smooth up the bottom. Of course, it's going to leave a nub right in the center where the tail stock is, but I'll remove that with the chisel when I'm done. That looks pretty good. You sand it, of course. I think I'm going to put on a few decorative lines in there. This is the nub left from where I sanded the bottom. I'm going to tap it off with a chisel. And there it is. That's good. Uh, that'll work. To sand off the little nub that still remains. Alright, I've got some uh, Mahoney's utility finish here, which is walnut oil. I did blow off all the dust uh, before I started here. Give that uh, 30 minutes or so, I'll come back, wipe it off, apply another coat, and we'll see how it looks. Back soon. And it's done. Uh, two coats of walnut oil on it. Don't think I'm going to do anything else with it. Turned out okay. When I started out, uh, that piece of wood was uh, pretty beat up, pretty cracked up, and I was not even sure I'd get anything out of it. So. We do have the pith here and the pith going right there. We got some cracks coming out of along there, but I don't think they're going to get any worse. So overall, turned out pretty good, uh, particularly for a, a beat up piece of wood like that. <laughs> See you next video.